Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about schemas in data warehousing. So in the last lecture, we have covered the different types of OLAP servers and their differences. So in this tutorial, we will discuss about the schemas. So in the previous tutorials, you might have heard Snowflake schema or a star schema. So today we will discuss about schemas and their different types in detail. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the schema is nothing but a logical description of an entire database. So it nothing but includes the name and the description of the records of all the record types, including all the associated data items and aggregations. So much like a database, a data warehouse also requires to maintain a schema. So the database uses a relational model and on the other hand, data warehouse uses star, snowflakes and fact constellation schemas. So in this lecture, we will discuss the schemas used in the data warehousing. Our first schema type is star schema. So as the name suggests, each dimension in a star schema is represented by only one fact table. So here you can see this is the one fact table. These are all the dimension tables having having one primary key from the fact table in the form of foreign key as a dimension. So this dimension table contains a set of attributes. So this diagram shows the financial data of a company with respect to the four dimensions, which are nothing but dealer, date dimension, product and branch dimension. So these are our four dimension tables and having one fact table, which is a revenue table. So in this schema, the fact table is at a center. So it contains the keys to each of the four dimensions. So here you can see the dimension table has date ID as a key from the fact table. And in this product table, there is model ID key from the fact table. In the dimension table, it is branch ID, which is also present in the fact table. And the last one in the dealer table, there is a dealer ID, which is a foreign key present as a primary key in the revenue table. So the fact table also contains the attributes, which are units sold and revenue. So these are the attributes which are present in the fact table revenue. So you have to remember one thing clearly. So each dimension has only one dimension table and each table holds a set of attributes. So for example, so the product dimension table contains the attribute set such as product ID, product name, model ID and variant ID. So this con constraint may cause the data redundancy. Our next schema is snowflake schema. So some dimension table in the snowflake schema are normalized. So what do you mean by normalized? So this normalization splits up the data into the additional tables. So here you can see there is one fact table which is present in the center which is revenue. And these are the dimension tables. And further due to the normalization of the dimension table dealer, there are two other dimension tables which are having location ID and country ID from the dealer table, which is dimension table of a revenue fact table. So this is known as a snowflake schema. So unlike star schema, the dimension table in the snowflake schema are normalized. So in the second example, the dimension table product is also split up into the another dimension table, which is known as a variant. So you have to remember one thing. So due to normalization in the snowflake schema, the redundancy is reduced and therefore it becomes easy to maintain and saves the storage space. So Snowflake schema has this main advantage over the star schema. So our next and the last schema is fact constellation schema. So a fact constellation schema has multiple fact tables. So you might get confused about this multiple fact table thing, but bear with me. We will discuss this with some simple example to get you more clear idea. So this fact constellation schema is also known as a galaxy schema. So this diagram shows two fact table as a revenue and a product, which are again splitted up into the dimension tables, which are branch dimension and a date dimension. So for this two dimension table, it is possible to share the dimension tables between these fact tables. So here in these two fact tables, the branch dimension and the date dimension tables are shared between these fact tables. So due to this, the redundancy will be very less 
as compared to the previously discussed schema which are star schema and a snowflake schema so therefore it provides the flexibility to the data warehouse structure but it has one disadvantages over the previously discussed schemas as it is very difficult to design and complex hence it is very hard to implement and maintain so i hope you got a clear idea what is a schema in data warehousing and their different types with their advantages and disadvantages along with some simple examples that we have discussed in this tutorial so if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates thanks for watching